Good morning, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards. And today, if I have time, I'll show you how I made both of these boxes. This one's made with the mini pizza box. And this one's made with the little box that you can get in the spring catalog. They are the Love You Always Treat boxes right here. So they open like this, and then I've got little treats in that one. And I put hearts in this one. So I'm using this. This is a paper pumpkin alternative, these two things. So we're going to do this box first. And I will show you how I made it. So we're going to take this is the um, slip cover here on the top. And what I did was I took the um, elements from this pa January paper pumpkin and I cut this one down to a smaller size. It, it eliminated a bit of the um, hearts and things, but you can, there's some st a stamp that you can stamp more on there if you want, which we might do that before I put it together. But I cut this down to uh, three and seven eighths by about two, slightly more than two and a fourth. Just un it, it, I think two and three eighths would be perfect, but I cut a little bit too much off of it. So we can take this um, hearts and put it on a block and take our um, copy parade ink. I'm going to put a pad behind that. And then we can take our, we'll see how this works. And we can stamp. Yeah. It's right about there. That way you can get some extra little hearts on there if you want. You don't have to do that. It looks cute. Stamp some more hearts and flowers on there. Should be one more in here. So this makes four cards if you don't want to do alternatives. And you can also get um, you can take this. I don't think I can stamp any because I did that. But anyway, you don't have to put those hearts on there. So I did that, and then I took the envelope or the card base and cut it down, cut it apart, because I needed two pieces um, that were four by two and five eighths, one for the top of this and one for the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue this. No, first thing I'm going to do is, is decorate this. So what I did was I just glued these to this. So you need two of this size. And you should be able to get this all out of um, one card base with a little bit left over. So you need to glue this to the one side here. Now you can use um, your tape runner if you want. I like liquid glue so I can move it around if it's not safe. S straight. Now you don't have to do alternatives. I just thought it'd be fun to make these little boxes. Now you can get, and I'm not sure it's still available, it's while supplies last. Stampin' Up! offers um, 
an add-on and it has some boxes that you can use. I didn't buy that, but you can do that. It's got these boxes, these little tags that look like this. And then um, they all, it also has the little snail. It's already, it's like a punch out. So you could, could do that. Okay. Once I did that, I needed two pieces of the um, card base that were four by one and three eighths because I need one here and then one on the other side. So I did that. These are very, very simple, and they, they make cute little treat boxes. It's just a matter of cutting up your card base. Now, you can also, if you want to use this idea, you can, you know, buy DSP and um, decorate these boxes with the DSP that's um, available. This DSP is very pretty, and then this, you can, I've done a video on how to color that. Okay, once you do that, then you take your box, I got stuff everywhere here. <laughs> I'm going to take this box, and you're going to want to put um, a piece of this, uh, the card base, you need two pieces that are two and three-fourths by one and three-eighths. One for each end. And I found it much easier to glue these on here before I assembled the box because it's easier to get it to stick down. So you want one of these on right here. In this section. Oops, that looks like a little bit long, doesn't it? Huh. I must have done all the way to the end on this. But we can trim it. So this is going to go like that. So we'll trim that. So you need one there. I believe that I did trim those. And one on the other end. there. Let's leave back on so we don't get glue everything. And then you can take your scissors and trim this because you don't want it hanging over. So trim it right up to the edge. Just like so. Okay. like that. Once you have those on there, you can assemble this box. I just want to fold everything. And I don't, I didn't use any glue on this. It seemed to work out just fine without the glue. You're going to want to go like this. Actually, this needs to be folded out, I think. So you're going to fold that in. This needs to be folded in like that. This is a confusing box, I'm telling you. 
Rings up like that. Okay, so you fold this in. So, I hope you can see what I'm doing. This folds in and then flat like that. And then you fold this one in. Hold it down. And then fold this down. And then this has to go like this. Fold it down. And then this one hooks into that. Just like that. I hope that wasn't too confusing. So once you've got your box assembled, and you want to put this on there because you're going to finish decorating. This should slip right in. There's your box. Okay. And you can decorate this. So you're going to take, I took one of these right here, pick it up, and I trimmed it. So it was in a little arrow. I just trimmed that way and that way on it. And then I stamped it with the, one of the, here that says um, sending love your way and of course then I stamped the little flowers in the corner there so I took this and I took some of the black ribbon and about a four inch piece and and then I because the black ribbon comes with I think I dropped it I'll show you it I have a really, really small desk, so it doesn't take much for things to drop on the floor if I just bump them. Here's the black ribbon that comes with the paper pumpkin. So I took a piece of that, and I'm just going to kind of figure out where I want to tape it on there. Tape it to the back of this. It looks like about... Mm, an inch from the bottom. So you just take it, make it even. It doesn't have to be exact unless you want it to be. Put your ribbon across the back. Tape it there. The only place I wanted it even was across. I didn't want it at an angle. And then I'll put the other glue the other piece or tape the other piece down. Okay. And then once you've done that, and I just glued it to the front here. You can use dimensionals if you want, but I didn't. So I just glued this. Sorry front, just like so, okay, oh, I still need that, then I took one of the uh, shorter ones of these that come in the paper pumpkin and cut it in half. And then I put some glue right here in the back of my arrow. And then I just glued this to my arrow. And then I'm going to trim it after I've got it glued on there. Here I am getting glue all over myself. Okay, so I glued that one on that side and this one over here. Once you have it glued on there, then you're going to trim. Just like so. Okay. 
And you're just going to take your scissors, because you don't want to see that, and you're going to trim those edges off. Just like so. And then I kind of rounded this so it would not hang over too far. And then you can take dimensionals, and I stamped this ahead of time. And I took, I put three dimensionals on this so it wouldn't flatten. So you're going to put three dimensionals on the back of this, or two if you only want two. So, and then I put it kind of, I needed room for my bow, and I just kind of centered it on that ribbon. And then I put a glue dot on the back of my bow. Just stuck the bow right here. And then you can trim the ends of your bow if you want. If you don't like them that long. Just with the eye, we'll trim them a little bit here. Off. Like so. And then I took some of these little hearts that came in the paper pumpkin. I just put a few on there. So I put one right here. I put this big one kind of over here. Or wherever you want to put it. That's where I put it. And then I put a small one. Because I thought it would be cute. On the envelope. Just like that. And that's alternative number one. So the second alternative I used. Well, I'm not sure I have time to show you this one. But I used a um, mini pizza box from the annual catalog <clears throat> and then I used um, some of this ribbon that's poppy parade that came out of the holiday catalog it's been discontinued I don't know if they have any more um, you could use the black ribbon and then I took another one of my card bases and I cut one that what they're <clears throat> three and three eighths by three and three eighths for the top. And then I took a piece of the basic black and I used the um, scalloped squares. And this square is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. Put it here. And then these hearts right here, were uh, I cut them out. I stamped them with the um, this right here with um, Poppy Parade. Cut those out. And then I cut some pieces of the card base. These are a half inch by three and a half inches so that I could put one um, around I put them around the edges of this box okay and then I took um, so we're doing this and you'll have to trim these they're probably a little bit long but there's one there should be one for each um, side like so Okay, and then I took some basic white, and I cut this out with the, um, I had that here, here. These are the Tasteful Dyes labels, and I just used this one right here. Cut those out, and then stamp them with the High Valentine. And then I took this ribbon that's, like I said, this is retired, but you can use the black ribbon if you want. And I just 
put it across the front before I glued this down. I glued the heart down and then I decorated it with some of my little hearts. So that's how I made this one and I you probably have enough to make four boxes of this design <clears throat> and four of this design. And then um, or you can do the cards. A couple cards, a couple boxes. I just decided I wanted some boxes and these were easy. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's dry. And then I made this little box out of one of the card bases. So I could put a piece of candy in there. And I have the pattern for this box. If you're interested, just let me know. And I used a heart die to die cut this out of a piece of leftover of this card base. And then just cut that out and stamped it with the Be Mine that's on here. So there's some ideas for you for alternative paper pumpkin projects. If you like this project, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're interested in um, paper pumpkin, there's a link in the um, do the down arrow and there's a link to sign up for paper pumpkin. Also, we right still have celebration. So if you're interested in buying any product, or signing up as a demonstrator, please hit the down arrow. It'll take you to my blog or directly to my online store. And Or if you have questions, you can email me. I'd be happy to um, be your demonstrator. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm really dry this morning. I also have a host code for purchasing $50 to $149. 99 use that host code and you can get some free items um, I'm giving away a package of these basic rhinestones for anybody who purchases at least $50 from me on my online store thank you so much for watching have a blessed day and have fun stamping <laughs>